Carbon fiber has found a very special place in the aftermarket automotive industry. Uh, anytime you think about high-end cars or like, high-end aftermarket styling parts, so many things are offered today in carbon fiber. My name is Dan Tafe, and I'm a product engineer at Mishimoto. I've designed hundreds of products across all the different product lines that we have at Mishimoto. Where we ended up with the current design that we're now producing and going to be releasing is vastly different than what we had initially designed. The main challenge we faced when designing this product was how do we affix a carbon fiber end tank to an aluminum core? They're two dissimilar materials and they have different rates of thermal expansion. The aluminum is going to expand and contract much, much more than the carbon fiber will. So one of the unique properties carbon fiber has is that it has a very low transfer of heat. So we can have 300 degree charge air temps entering the intercooler and temperature on the outside of the end tank might only be around 160 or 180 degrees. Additionally, carbon fiber is traditionally known for its light weight and high strength. In our carbon fiber intercooler application, we were able to save 70% of the weight compared to the aluminum parts while remaining just as strong, if not stronger. We also wanted to make sure that this intercooler would be able to survive the harsh environment sitting in the front grill opening of a vehicle. In order to do this, we had a gravelometer test, also known as SAEJ400, completed by a third-party testing company. This test uses pints of specific sized pieces of gravel and it shoots them at the front of a part that's being tested. This simulates road debris coming up and hitting the front of an intercooler. Happy to say, our intercooler performed flawlessly. No leaks, no problems. So the final design that we chose for our intercooler met all of our previous goals, but then because of the way that we designed it, it actually wound up affording us even more flexibility for both styling and aesthetic. One of the really neat features is the ability to offer an incredible amount of configurations for the customer to choose from. You can have matte or gloss end tanks. You can have any one of a number of different colors for the anodized locking rings that are securing the end tank to the core. We have three different core lengths, a 450 millimeter length, 525, or a 600 millimeter length. You have three different core colors. We have powder coated silver, black, and gold. And then to top it off, you can also have your inlets for your end tanks, both on the same side or one on the opposite side. So the end consumer has over 200 different options that they can choose from for this inner cooler. With such a unique design, the devil's in the details. You have to figure out how you can carry the aesthetic and design elements throughout the entire product, also including the packaging. So for instance, whether you're buying gloss or matte end tanks, your carbon fiber cereal plate will match that same finish. Your license plate frame that you're gonna get also matches that finish. You're gonna have a serialized card that goes over the color choices you chose, as well as there's gonna be the signature of which one of us put your product together. And for any of you early adopters out there that buy this product, you're gonna receive a hard case for the packaging. We really just tried to ensure that not only is this thing styled perfectly, but also that the user's experience from opening the package to getting it on their vehicle is flawless.